Have you ever wondered what happens when a star collapses under its own gravity, creating a point in space where nothing can escape, not even light? Welcome to the intriguing world of black holes. These cosmic titans are incredibly dense regions of space-time, where gravity flexes its muscles with such might that it can grip onto anything that dares to come too close. But let's dispel a common myth. Black holes are not empty voids. Instead, they are cosmic powerhouses that hold the mass of a star, compacted into a small region. Imagine, if you will, an object so dense that it bends and warps the very fabric of space-time around it. That's a black hole for you, a master manipulator of the cosmos. The intense gravitational fields they create are not just for show, they play a crucial role in the cosmic ballet, tugging at nearby celestial objects and even bending the path of wayward light. It's through these indirect effects that we know black holes exist. As we journey closer to a black hole, we encounter the event horizon, a boundary where the escape velocity surpasses the speed of light. Anything that crosses this point is irrevocably trapped, its fate sealed within the enigmatic expanse of the black hole. In the heart of this cosmic beast lies the singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume. Here, our current understanding of physics crumbles, leaving us with more questions than answers. It's a place where our mathematical models break down and the laws of physics as we know them cease to apply. This extreme condition fuels the curiosity of scientists and researchers around the world, making black holes the key to unraveling the mysteries of gravity, space-time, and the universe itself. Black holes, the cosmic titans, are indeed a fascinating and complex phenomenon that defy our understanding of the universe. Did you know that not all black holes are alike? Black holes, these cosmic titans, are not a one-size-fits-all phenomenon. They can be as diverse as the stars in the sky, and their differences are largely defined by one crucial factor, their mass. Black holes are categorized based on this characteristic. It's a bit like how we classify cars into categories like sedans, SUVs, and trucks based on their size and capacity. But instead of cargo space or passenger seating, we're talking about the amount of mass a black hole contains. The first category we have is stellar black holes. These are the regular Joes of the black hole world, formed when a star at least 20 times the mass of our sun exhausts its nuclear fuel and collapses under its own gravity. They typically contain a few times the mass of our sun, packed into a space no larger than a city. Next up are the supermassive black holes. These are the big kahunas, often found at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. They have masses equivalent to millions, or even billions, of suns. To give you an idea of their scale, the supermassive black hole at the heart of our galaxy has a mass four million times that of our sun. But the universe might have an even more extreme category up its sleeve, intermediate black holes. These hypothetical entities would have masses between that of stellar and supermassive black holes. While we've yet to confirm their existence, they could be the missing link in our understanding of black hole formation. Now, we haven't exactly stumbled upon a black hole during a cosmic stroll. We know they exist through their indirect effects. For instance, their massive gravitational pull can influence the motion of nearby objects. They also emit radiation, a phenomenon Stephen Hawking predicted, which we'll delve into in a later scene. So, just like us, black holes come in all shapes and sizes, each with their own unique characteristics. What do you think lies beyond the event horizon of a black hole? It's a question that has fascinated scientists, and the answer is as mysterious as the black holes themselves. The event horizon is the boundary of a black hole, a line in the cosmic sand beyond which escape becomes impossible. It's the point where the gravitational pull becomes so strong that the escape velocity surpasses the speed of light. Imagine a cosmic boundary, a one-way door from which not even light can return. Once something crosses this threshold, it's destined to be pulled deeper into the black hole, never to emerge again. So what happens when you cross this event horizon? Well, this is where things get really interesting, and also where our current understanding of physics starts to break down. As we venture further, 
we encounter the singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume at the center of a black hole. It's the heart of the black hole, where all its mass is concentrated. The singularity is an enigma, a place where our usual laws of physics seem to crumble. It's a place of extremes, where gravity is so strong that it warps and bends space-time, creating a well of distortion that we can't peer into. And it's not just matter that's drawn into this infinite point. Time itself gets twisted and stretched, becoming a part of the black hole's gravitational dance. Understanding the singularity is one of the biggest challenges in modern physics. It represents a point where our current theories, general relativity, which describes gravity and quantum mechanics, which describes the tiny particles that make up the universe, don't quite meet. Solving this mystery could be the key to a theory of everything, a unified understanding of the physical universe. The event horizon serves as the ultimate point of no return beyond which lies the enigmatic singularity. A journey beyond the event horizon and into the singularity is a one-way trip into the unknown, a voyage into the heart of one of the universe's most mysterious phenomena. As we seek to unlock the secrets of black holes, we're not just looking out into the cosmos, we're delving into the very fabric of reality itself. Ever heard of a black hole shrinking and eventually evaporating? It's a concept that defies our initial perception of these cosmic behemoths. Yet, it's a theory that was proposed by none other than theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking. Hawking proposed the outlandish idea that black holes aren't the all-consuming monsters we once thought they were. Instead, he suggested that they emit something, a phenomenon now known as Hawking radiation. This theoretical prediction involves quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that governs the incredibly small. Imagine the empty space near the event horizon of a black hole. According to quantum mechanics, it's not truly empty but is teeming with virtual particles and antiparticles popping in and out of existence. Occasionally, a particle-antiparticle pair forms near the event horizon, with one falling into the black hole while the other escapes into space. The energy needed to create these particles is borrowed from the black hole itself, causing it to lose mass over time. That's right, black holes can shrink. The process is incredibly slow for most black holes, slower than the rate at which an ice cube would evaporate in your freezer. But for smaller black holes, the process can be much faster, leading to a spectacular explosion. This process, over an incredibly long time scale, could lead to the evaporation of black holes. It's a mind-boggling concept to grapple with, especially when we consider the immense size and power of these cosmic entities. Yet, Hawking's theory suggests that even black holes aren't immune to the relentless march of time. So, next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that the universe is a place of constant change. Even the mighty black holes, those enigmatic titans of the cosmos, aren't eternal. They too slowly fade away, emitting a faint whisper of radiation as they do. Yes, even these cosmic titans are not eternal and can eventually meet their end. What do you envision when you think of a black hole feeding? Perhaps a cosmic vacuum cleaner sucking everything in its path into oblivion? Well, the reality is even more fascinating. Let's talk about accretion disks. These are swirling vortexes of matter spiraling towards a black hole, caught in its irresistible gravitational pull. This isn't a gentle, leisurely spiral, though. The matter in an accretion disk is moving at incredibly high speeds, heated to extreme temperatures by the immense gravitational forces at work. This results in the disk glowing intensely with radiation. So, contrary to their name, black holes can be some of the most luminous objects in the universe thanks to their accretion disks. Now, not all the matter in the accretion disk ends up in the black hole. Some of it is ejected out in powerful jets. These jets of matter are hurled out from the poles of the black hole at nearly the speed of light. They can extend for hundreds of thousands of light years, reaching far beyond their host galaxies. These jets are not just spectacular cosmic fireworks. They play a crucial role in the cosmos, influencing the formation and evolution of galaxies. You see, these jets can trigger the birth of new stars as they collide with the interstellar medium, the gas and dust between the stars. They also prevent too many stars from forming by heating up and dispersing the gas needed for star formation. 
This balancing act between star birth and star prevention helps shape the size and structure of galaxies. So, black holes with their accretion disks and jets of matter are not just destructive forces, they are cosmic sculptors, shaping the universe as we know it. The more we study these fascinating phenomena, the more we realize how integral they are to the grand cosmic dance. So black holes are not just destructive forces, but also play a role in shaping the universe. Can black holes provide insights into the early universe? Well, let's dive into the fascinating concept of primordial black holes. These are not your typical black holes that result from the death of massive stars. Instead, primordial black holes are thought to have formed in the early moments of the universe shortly after the Big Bang. Imagine the universe in its infancy, a mere fraction of a second old. It's filled with a dense, hot soup of particles. Now, if there were regions that were denser than others, they could have collapsed under their own gravitational pull, creating these primordial black holes. This is a different process than the one that forms stellar black holes, and it could have left us with black holes of virtually any size, from the incredibly small to the incredibly large. Now you might be wondering, why does this matter? What insights could these primordial black holes provide? Well, if they exist, they could tell us a great deal about the early universe and its evolution. For one, they could shed light on the universe's density fluctuations in those first moments. They could also provide us with a unique way to study dark matter, that elusive substance that makes up about a quarter of our universe but remains largely a mystery to us. What's more, primordial black holes could even offer clues about the universe's expansion. You see, the number and size of these black holes that could have formed depends on how quickly the universe was expanding at the time. So by studying these primordial black holes, we could learn more about the rate of the universe's expansion in its earliest moments. In the end, these primordial black holes, if they exist, could serve as cosmic time capsules, offering us a glimpse into the universe's past. They could help us understand the conditions of the early universe, its evolution, and the nature of the dark matter that permeates it. Black holes from their formation to their end hold the key to unraveling the mysteries of our universe. Intriguing, aren't they? These cosmic titans that defy our understanding. We've journeyed from the densest regions of space-time, where not even light can escape, to the event horizon, the point of no return. We've explored the concept of Hawking radiation, hinting at the possibility of black holes shrinking and eventually evaporating. We've also delved into the swirling vortexes of the accretion disks and the high-speed jets of matter they can produce, playing a significant role in shaping galaxies and the evolution of the universe. Lastly, we touched upon the intriguing concept of primordial black holes, remnants from shortly after the Big Bang, that could provide insights into the early universe, each one of these facets of black holes helps us unravel the mysteries of gravity, space-time, and the universe itself. They may seem distant and abstract, but they're fundamental in shaping our understanding of the cosmos. So the next time you gaze at the night sky, remember the cosmic titans lurking in the dark, shaping the universe as we know it.